Uh, honestly, is this how old is this guitar? This is Do we know? This is 80s. My name is Ryan Burke, and I just love guitars. That's why I'm traveling the whole world to try as many as I can. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum Road Case. This episode is brought to you by Tour Gear Designs and their amazingly small and flat patch cables. Big ear pedals harnessing the cosmic power of cats to transport you into a new sonic dimension. Gun Street Wiring Shop. Unlock your guitar's hidden tones with an expertly crafted custom wiring harness. And Harmony Guitars. USA-made guitars with nitro finishes, high personality pickups, cool retro looks, and included mono gig bags and playability that punches way above their price point. Hey everyone, <laughs> I'm Ryan from 60 Cycle Hum. This is 60 Cycle Hum Road Case. I haven't been saying that, but it is. Um, I did a video just like this earlier with Emily from the Get Offset podcast. Now I'm going to do it with Philip from the 40 Watt podcast. You should check them out. I'm hanging out with podcasters, okay? I'm staying in a podcast house. I hang out with podcasters. Podcasters are my people. That's what I'm doing. Philip is going to grab a guitar for me from here in Carter Vintage. He's going to surprise me with it. I don't know what he's picking. And then he's going to rapid fire, keep bringing me guitars to surprise me. And I'm just going to play them and have first impressions and have fun. Any moment now, he'll walk through that very door. He's in the main floor room of Carter Vintage. What will he pick? There he is. Oh, he's got a Dan Electro. No, this is a Coral Hornet. What? Oh, I thought it was one of the reissues. It's the... It's the real deal. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I've got a couple minutes before he gets to the next thing. Of course, it's not one of the reissues. It's the real deal. Holy heck. I've never played one of these. $2,000 because, of course, it is. Is it going to work is the question. I don't think it's going to work. Oh. The jack is a little funky. There we go. I don't know how many of these switches actually work. Oh, it just got real dark. The neck is surprisingly modern in its feel. Really modern sort of C shape. The frets are surprisingly pushing in a very modern direction. I'm honestly surprised. Really flat radius. It might be even like a, an 18 inch radius on this thing. It is super duper flat. Dan Electro style bridge with a slight, slight sag in the middle. That is normal. That happens over time as Dan Electro owners know. be really picking something. He's looking around. He's, he's trying to find something weird. Watch, he's going to bring me one of the ones that Emily already brought me. I want to throw some fuzz at this. You know what? Metal setting. This guitar deserves metal. There it goes, the jack crapped out on me. 
Here we go. We've got a K. You can be on camera. You don't have oh, to yeah. stand off camera. I was just, while you were finishing. <laughs> it is really cool. Howlin' like Wolf, okay. Wolf reissue. Yeah. So this is a reissue. That thing is, the neck is surprisingly modern on it. Yeah. Wow, ding right there. But I know, big ding. Yeah. Like the frets are not what I was expecting from, from yeah, that. No, it, it's like big, thick frets. Like big, thick frets, yeah. Yeah, it's like, wow. That, I, I don't know, just, it's that weird almost Fiesta red. Yeah. I was look at the neck plate. This cool, oh. like triangle neck plate. I don't know if they can see that, but that's too cool. Yeah, it's radical. Awesome. I think you'll like that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he thinks it's not my style. Come on. K Twin Thin V161 Helen Wolf reissue. Only 800 bucks. Probably the cheapest guitar I've tried so far. Tiny, razor thin. Little chromy pickups in these with this wild pit guard material. You go back to this hot Princeton setting. Neck pickup. <laughs> Very full neck. Everyone go check out Philip's podcast. He does an interview format. He's been getting really cool guests. He's pretty new, but he's been getting really cool guests. this like this is a fun jazz box and I love the really cool details on it I'd, I'd own this 100% I had something cool and then I messed it up it's a little bit out of tune. feels that really thick fat baseball neck is slowing me down and making me feel a little bit clumsy but the details are there it's a modern build you can tell that it's a uh, you know it's like a mid-tier build it's not a high-end build but uh i'm really enjoying it first impressions <laughs> That's still a little bit out of tune, but I'm having fun on the strings that are in tune. He's brought me a GNL or something. This is a music man that was made for Chips Moment, who was a producer, and it is signed by Leo Fender himself. What? Yeah. Okay. All right, you're bringing me historical stuff now. Yeah. That's just too cool, though. It's only $4,000. That's cheap. That's totally important. What a deal. I mean, you know, that's, you know, you cut a couple of coffees a month, you're fine, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I'm just going to stop even eating avocado toast. I, that's it. That's it. That's why I don't have this guitar, avocado toast. Avocado toast. It's all, it's the, it, we could solve so many of the world's problems if we just banned avocado toast. <laughs> just, just ban it entirely. It's caused nothing but problems. Yep. Uh -huh. 
I'm not going to fool around. I'm going to go straight for a high gain setting on this. It wants it, right? <laughs> crazy whatever setting I dialed in here that was the bridge with some sort of crazy setting here's the neck uh oh On the next That's Kingston by Tysco, it's a copy of a Coronado. So yeah, I mean Antigua, 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 and Togua. Yeah, and Togua. And Togua. Here's what I want you to do. Yes. I want you to pick one that you want to check out. I like this. One. Oh, you want me to play it? You hang out. You play this one out. You go put this back. Yeah. When you come back, you play this one. I'm gonna go find something for you. Okay. Oh, this thing feels light, like it's made out of paper mache. Kingston by Tisco, Coronado copy, 850 bucks. Let's see. Are you gonna be fun? You feel fun. It's got that Tisco neck. bright and thin on those high strings. It's got a really fun character though. Oh wow, that is that is bright and twang. That's like spaghetti western like Italian French pop like here we go. Oh, I fudged it. All right, you try this thing. Okay. Strap in. All right, y'all, we're going to... Oh, all right. Oh, that is bright. That's awesome. Frets are non-existent. They're so low. They're so small. You almost can't. You can't feel when you're like changing frets.
So uh, I'll quit playing blues riffs eventually. Entree. Hello. Oh, I gotta go open the door. All right, y'all, we got this uh, crazy Epiphone. It, it does not say what it is. It comes with an amp, though, apparently. It says it comes with an amp, but there's no model number. That is, oh, there's too many things. There's a tone expressor. There's a reverb? What? I, I don't know that it's actually doing anything. You know what? This is the control for the amp. This controls the amp stuff. So this is probably like, here's all the guitar controls. Here's the reverb, the depth, the frequency for the tremolo. Oh my gosh. Now we need the amp. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. thing is completely bonkers. So there's a there's a control here where you got to plug an amp cord into it and then these switches are going to control the amp. It's got to be like a MIDI controller down here. Yeah. Right? Well, it's definitely a 5 pin. So it, it doesn't look like MIDI it's though. 6 pin. I count 6 pins. Oh yeah, I can't. I'm a librarian. I don't do numbers. <laughs> Excuse me. Um yeah, so he's got reverb on and off, tremolo on and off, two knobs for the trim, one for the reverb, and then the tone expressor system, which... Oh, no, that actually does work. Yeah, but... So it's like, each one has a different frequency that it's doing something with. It's like a it's like a veritone, but instead it's on off for each of the five positions. too cool. It gets real thin with some of these, which is good because you've only got a neck position pickup. Now I want to know what amp it comes with though. Seriously. I'm curious what amp comes with this. All right. Yes, yes. I'm going to take this off. All right. Buckle up. Oh, that's wild. It's got like an out of phase thing. I fudged that. That wasn't the guitar's <laughs> fault. I pulled the string off the edge. It's like a Chase Bliss guitar over here with all these switches. While you're waiting, Check out that Gretsch. No, 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 no. Yes, the green one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. I'm showing him the Gretsch off camera. Now, this is wild. I, I, yeah, we, I need to come back someday if it's still here. 
beg them to pull out the amp to see what's going on. Imagine controlling an amplifier from your guitar, the reverb, the frequency, the depth for the tremolo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a pick bar from a Wilshire. Yeah, it has, it has a Wilshire thing going on. It has the Epiphone logo on it, so it had to be official. It's got to be a Wilshire or something, because this is not the pick bar that should go on this guitar. But it has a really nice weight to it. Oh, absolutely not the pick guard that goes on this guitar. <laughs> what a trip. It's only, it comes with an amp. It's $4,000. What a, what a deal. I really want to know what that amp looks like. All right. I want you to sit down and play that, Gretsch. Okay. I'm going to put this back, and then we'll close. There are so many controls on this thing. There are, there's mutes on it that just don't make sense to me, my brain. Oh, there's a, is that a kill switch? It, I may have broken it. There we go. I, I, I just, I do not know where to even start with this thing. It's obviously got a little bit of cleaning up the electronics need to be done. The electronics keep going in and out on me, like. What? So many switches on this thing that I'm so confused. Is that all factory from a pair of nose, right? No, I think it's all factory. And it's got a G on it. That's true. This is definitely factory. This has to be factory. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, I've especially never seen anything where you can do the treble and the bass side separately. Guys, Marty Schwartz is here. Yeah. He's going to play the next guitar, which is a Fender Bullet, which is like your transition from Fender to Squire. It's such a funky guitar because the pick guard is made out of metal and it's bent on the end, and that is the bridge. Yeah. The bridge is the pick guard. Here, strap this on.
What do you think of that, Marty? I like to play. <laughs> uh, thanks. I like to play. Uh, honestly, is this how old is this guitar? This is do we know? This is eighties, like early eighties, eighty-one. Oh. Birthier guitar, almost birthier. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was really in tune, and the intonation was really good. I've always loved the necks on them. Like they yeah. Here I go. It had a nice spank to it. <laughs> that one was spanky, yeah. And it had some shimmery highs and some real punchy mids and some real throaty lows. Were the mids haunted? No, uh, just a slight poltergeist. <laughs> I want to try it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now I'm going to try this thing. <laughs> I'm walking out there with that Epiphone. I'm like, oh, hey, Marty. We live in the same city, and I've never met him before. I'm like, come be on my video. <laughs> yep. When Phil, uh, when Phil McKnight came down to do content with him, I was like, could have invited me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's got some twang. I'm not playing it well, but Marty already showed what it can sound like, right? I should take lessons from Marty, like in person. We should do a series where he fixes everything that's wrong with me. <laughs> twelve fifty. I can't believe these are twelve fifty anymore. I wonder how much the Squire version is, because this is the Fender version. <laughs> had one for a while. I should have bought it from him. I should have bought one of these back in the early 2000s when they were at guitar show guitar shows for like 400. Yeah, like yeah, like right now there's an 83 Squire Bullet on Reverb for 750. 750 is doable, <laughs> but can I justify it? It doesn't have the metal pick guard. Damn. Yeah, it's, it's that's the that's the thing that I want. And this is a really clean version. All the other ones I've seen have rust spots. Where the paint starts to flake away. You know, this looks amazing. This yeah, looks it's, like it's brand new. This looks well, I wouldn't say brand new. Oh, it's got some wear on it. But it's it's the most cherry one yeah, I've ever picked up. The action's a little bit high, but you can adjust that. I don't even know what to do on it. Marty Schwartz to my house to come to my house and have barbecue with me. <laughs> Why do I do stuff like that? If you try to say goodbye to everyone. Oh gosh. <laughs> if you fudge it up, I'll step in and I'll make it. Okay, work. okay. <laughs> Just say oh. thanks for watching, like, subscribe, dislike, leave nasty comments. <laughs> I <shirt>. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> Oh.
Thank you. Also, I like how low slung this feels compared to after playing the Gretsch. Like, it feels like I'm ready to play some like 90s, you know, power punk. Which I have no idea how to play any of that stuff, so. Wow. That is really spanky. I just realized I was on the neck pickup. Yeah. Oh my god. That's completely unexpected. I didn't expect that at all. The middle position's real quacky for like a, a I don't know, that's real different. That's it, guys. Y'all uh, go find yourself an 80s Fender Bullet. It's, it's now my new perfect guitar. It, it's so dead simple. Uh, so, guys, I'm taking over the ending. So, uh, Ryan sure appreciates y'all watching. I promise he really, really does. Please leave rude, nasty comments in the comments below. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, make it a competition. It'll be great. See who wins. Uh, whoever wins gets the peace of mind of knowing that you're better than the other side. It's wonderful. So, uh, make sure you find... Uh, 60 Cycle Hum on all the socials. Do the things. Follow, click. You know, uh, y'all know how to do social media if you don't. Why are you watching this? Um, and uh, because I'm doing the ending, my name is Philip. I'm with 40 Watt Podcast. Y'all be sure to take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and make some noise. Later.